and welcome my name is Julia I would like to show you a journal that I made this is an old book that I found at a yard sale it has some gold embossing on the spine and on the front cover it measures four and a half by seven and a half the spine is an inch and a quarter I made a closure with a chain that I attached through an eyelet in the back and just hooked the chain into a big paper clip to hold it closed. The chain has some dangles with charms on it, some um, beads, glass beads. There's a blue one and, and a bronze, bronze colored one. Um, a tiny little teapot, a flower, there's a little little keychain with the mini keys there's a moon and star charm uh, paper flower this is rather stiff paper so that's hopefully not gonna fall apart right away a metal bead a hand charm that says handmade another flower and, and a leaf you open it by just taking off the paper clip you could slide the paper clip off the chain if you wanted to get it out of the way when you're using the journal. Then inside there's a pocket on the inside cover. I made the paper clip with a fabric flower and some fabric strip. Inside the paper bag I, I stamped it with some feathers and background texture. Inside the paper um, paper bag there's some there's some file tabs that I punched out of the leftover paper that I used and all of these file tabs have double-sided tape on the back already so they can be used instantly wherever the uh, future owner of this journal is and you don't have to wait until you get home and and have glue you can use them whenever you want. Um, inside the journal there are lots of different papers. There's scrapbooking paper. I use some packaging paper. I have some book paper in there, maps and gift wrapping paper. There's some die cut ticket strips. That's a Tim Holtz ticket strip. They, they could be torn off and used individually can write on them just leave them as they are they can even slide out of the signature I didn't stitch them in they're just um, sort of stuck in between the pages so if you wanted to use the whole strip you could just carefully slide them out um, I have some undersized undercut pages I have also some that are have torn edges there's a pom-pom trim here. I have a few file tabs stuck in there already, just for fun, sort of. Some of the paper is crinkled and wrinkled, and there's a map. There. Then there are some pockets throughout the journal with cutouts from the design paper that I used, some cutouts from uh, stamped images or die cuts that I had this uh, playing card from a card game. I get back that with some paper. Then I may use my envelope punch board to make these file folder style edges on the page. Some more ticket strips. I glued in some die cuts in places. There's a die cut leaf that's from the tattered leaf die and some more cutouts from the design paper that I used. There's a full page size top loading pocket. I took these illustrations from a nature book that had all these pictures and names of various plants and flowers. This is fennel and there's cumin. There's a different style they're all double-sided so you could just 
right around the illustration or take them out and use them in another project if you want it. There are some, a few plastic ticket strips, they're kind of transparent. You could write on that with like a permanent, permanent marker or sharpie or something. There's the middle of the signature, that's a, an envelope. There's some postcards in there. They could be used as journal cards or actually sent as postcards. I have a few of those tiny little mini envelopes. They all have little paper pieces in them too that fit. They're like kind of tiny little letters that are already complete. There's another pocket with the tag and the vellum piece and another little envelope with paper, paper scraps in them. Oh, and there's some, some individual tickets as well. Somehow I always end up with lots of leftover tickets when I make ticket strips. I like to use just leftover paper that's big enough and just like cut some tickets. There's a tiny little postcard. That's a stamp, a Teresa Collins stamp, I think, from the Stationery Noted set. I love that. Use that a lot. There are some more cutouts from the paper collection and die cut leaf. Some fold-out pages, especially those with the maps, because I I took those out of a like of an old book that had a whole collection of of maps and records. This is about this one city. This book that I had, it's uh, it's in the Czech Republic, and there are lots and lots of images. This is a map from 1620, and I just love the detail on this. Can't really read it because it's in check but it just looks awesome i didn't want to cut that apart so i folded it in then this is a button embossing folder i turned that into a pocket there's the die cut moon there's a little piece of embroidered lace hanging on a paper clip all the tags i made with um studio light paper pads they have really beautiful 6x6 six six paper pads that come in every imaginable color scheme and have lots of different patterns. They're really beautiful. Some more map pieces, a little trim. Um, I made some paper clips with fabric flowers and leaves. Those are the tiny ones. Those wire stems they're really soft and bendable so you can just wrap them around the top of your paper clip i dabbed a little glue at the back just so that nothing would come undone or stick out there's another playing card from an incomplete game and a postcard i made this bookmark using some hand spun yarn that i had with some sparkle thread then i did a little weaving on a tiny little kid's weaving loom and added a bead at the bottom to hold it hold it down there's a, a cabinet card that i put in there so you could you could have write and write something or stick something in there that peeks out i love this toad sticker that's really cool then there are some also from that book with the maps there's some landscape strips that i folded over to make them fit this I cut out from a paper bag because I kind of thought that was funny and matched the other pages so that was kind of nice. There's some more of the paper from the flower and nature books from Tim Holtz vellum. Somehow I never used that because I, I just hoarded. I never use it because I think like when I use it then it's gone and I can't use it anymore. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I did some stamping here and there. I'm not that happy with how the stamping turned out, but, you know, when I had done it, it was done, so I'm not gonna bother about it so much. Some, a little sp speckle and splashing from, with the distress, um, distress inks. Another, another map, another cutout from the design paper and the tag. And gift wrapping paper it still has the sticky tape marks on it i don't mind that i know lots of people want everything clean and crisp but i i like this sort of texture it's kind of part of the history of the book 
tells where the paper come came from, like like there with the torn edge. And wouldn't you just love to have a sofa like that? I would love a sofa like that. <laughs> this page came from uh, one of those flip up calendars that you hang on the wall. That's why the actual calendar is upside down and it's from last year. I hadn't um, intended to glue these together to make the side pocket but decided not to because I thought I'm sure you could do something funny with those little boxes like maybe doodle in them or take tiny little notes or something and it doesn't really matter that it's upside down really. So what do we have? There's a moon die that I turned into a tuck spot and put in some individual tickets and another leaf. Another fold-out page with a map. There's some wallpaper samples that I use to make ticket strips. There's another cutout from a paper collection and a playing card. This is a begonia and I love those illustrations. I think they are really pretty. And I backed that too with some paper. There is another cutout from the paper collection that was is just so pretty, this sort of m miniature greenhouse. I would love to have something like this in my house. It's really beautiful. There's another little postcard and another flower from the paper collection. There's a butterfly paper. Another piece of landscape. There's another postcard. There, the, Poppies. There's gonna be more poppies coming up because I want to give this book to a friend and her favorite flowers are poppies. So I try to put any that I found in there so that she would be happy. Another moon tuck spot, another piece of landscape. I love that fog, foggy scenery, like winter day. There's another, another poppy playing card. And then another moon, some more buttons. There are some more of those nature books. There's another poppy. I don't know what that flower is called in English. I use this onion card because the color of the onion illustration, and there's a, a different kind of onion on the back, it matched the color of the cover really well. It's the same color, perfect match. And there's some some grass. I love this type of grass. Makes really nice movements when the wind goes through. This friend of mine also really likes feathers, so I put the feather paper in it. There's another, another pocket, file for the page. There's like a, a road map of that, of that place in the Czech Republic really cool and there's the, another another one of those illustrations that's basil and there's a uh, sage she's a chef she's a trained chef so i thought she might like the pages uh the, the pictures of the garden herbs and vegetables <laughs> there's another one of those wall calendar pages that has this beautiful rusty colored autumn forest and the, and the rest of the green that matched this pattern paper really really nicely love this picture it's really beautiful and i love this black butterfly paper butterflies are glossy and the paper is black it just makes the colors pop out so nicely this image came from a craft supply catalog I think it, w it was for an embroidery picture where you get a kit with all the, the, the embroidery fabric and all the, the floss, the embroidery floss that you need for it and all the assorted colors. I thought the design was really cool. The wonky little houses and this temple or museum kind of, kind of building. I, I backed it with some paper. There's another, another poppy another moon there's another little pocket with a little envelope with leftover p 
pattern paper, another piece of the Tim Holtz vellum card with the bird on it. Paper clip holds these in because this pocket does not really hold hold the ephemera really well, so I had to fix that. There's uh, another little tuck spot using the cutouts from the pattern paper. Tiny little postcard. You could color in the fish. There's a, more of that landscape. Another little tiny little envelope that has some papers cut to size and the fabric leaf. Um, tear off this piece of ticket here. I yeah. really love this paper too with the black foiling. It just looks so cool. You could take a white pen and, and, and doodle in those flowers or color them in with some pink pens. That would look really cool. So, and then that's it really. Um, I used a hidden binding technique because I didn't want the the, the stitching from the signatures to show on the outside of the spine because I thought that was really pretty. I might still add some book corners on it to make them to make them last longer because they tend to fray and get all bendy and and broken really soon when you use your book. I think I ran out of gold ones, so I have to buy some more of those. And then to close it. You just slide on a big paper clip. And then there you have it. I hope you enjoyed watching and have a nice day.